So welcome back. This is paragraph 11. I don't think we marked um, the other paragraph before this, paragraph 10. Please, if, if you didn't mark it, uh, please go back and mark paragraph 10. In fact, every paragraph should be marked when we're doing readings, and sometimes I forget when I'm making videos. But let's take a look at this paragraph. This is the paragraph where we're going to look at, uh, at what subscripts are, these little numbers that are to the right of a chemical formula when we write a chemical formula. So here we go. When one, when more than one atom of an element is present in a compound, a small number called a what? It's called a subscript. So let's get that keyword down. Is added to the right of the element's chemical symbol. Okay. So for example, water is a compound that consists of two atoms of the element hydrogen and one atom of the element oxygen. So let's look at that. So here's oxygen. Here's an atom of oxygen. I'll just label that O. Let's just put these up with a different color. So let's just say here's hydrogen, and this would be labeled H, and this would be labeled H. Okay, so we have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Well, when we if, if we wanted to write the chemical symbol for this guy right here, what we would do is we would write H with a little 2 and then O for oxygen. Well that little 2 tells me when I read this chemical, so this is a this is a chemical formula meaning formula meaning that this right here describes what the molecule is actually going to look like. Okay? So this little 2 is called a subscript. That little 2 is called a subscript, and when it comes to the right, right after an H, or any other symbol, it tells me there will be that many of those atoms in the molecule. And well, Mr. Woods, there's, there's no number to the right of the zero. Okay? And when there's no number, present, no subscript written to the right of the zero, it's understood to be a subscript of one. So you could write a, you could write a chemical formula H2O, it would be perfectly uh, understandable by most, by any scientist, or you could actually write that chemical symbol H2O1, which would also be understood by any scientist. Uh, the two telling me that there are going to be two hydrogen atoms in the, mole uh, in the molecule, and the one telling me there'll be one oxygen atom in the molecule. So let's go ahead and read the second part of this. Okay, so the chemical formula for water is written H2O. So let's just, while I've got blue, let's just underline this is a main idea, something we want to make sure we understand. And um, and then this is also a, a main idea. So, so let's get this underlined right now. When more than one atom of an element is present in a compound, a small number called a what? called a subscript is added to the right of the element's chemical symbol. And we can go ahead and get all of that in blue. We're going to come back and catch that in green as well because this helps us to understand um, what a subscript is. All right, so let's take a look at carbon. And let me get black here. I like to use black when we're talking about carbon. But we're going to look at, at, at CO2, which is carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide... carbon dioxide, written CO2, and since that C does not have a subscript to the right of it, it's understood to be 1, and I like to just make a habit of putting that 1 in there so I don't forget that it's there when I, when I sketch the particle. So let's just go ahead and sketch um, carbon dioxide, and what does this chemical formula tell us that the molecule will look like. I'd like you to pause the video for just a moment and see if you can sketch this. And, and you can just make your atoms like this. Make, make an atom and you can put the letter, you can put the symbol of the, of the, um, of the, of the element inside the, inside the circle, inside your atom, and see if you can sketch the molecule for CO2. Just pause the video and then try that. And then you can start the video up and I'll show you what, what it should be. Okay, so we're going to have one 
molecule of carbon. And there's my molecule of carbon. Let me just go get a different color for my oxygen, and I'll just use red. And so I'm going to have two molecules of oxygen. So I'm going to have a molecule of oxygen here, and I'm going to have a molecule of oxygen here. I'm just going to label that with an O, label that with an O. And so this is C1 and O2. One carbon molecule and two oxygen molecules. And so you can see how chemical formulas describe the molecule that um, that they are actually the formula. So again, here's two H's, two atoms of hydrogen, and one atom of oxygen, H2O. Okay, so Get your, before, we, before we finish here, get your green pencil. <clears throat> and so what is a subscript? Well, a subscript is a small number. So I want you to, even though you've got a blue line under here, go ahead and get a green line under it as well. So a subscript is a small number that is added to the right of the element's chemical symbol when we're looking at a chemical formula. Okay, so we have chemical symbols, which are the letters that dis that um, that describe the elements on the periodic table, and we have chemical formulas where we take put chemical symbols together, and the chemical formulas describe the molecules uh, that are made when atoms of different elements come together. Okay, so um, I think we're pretty good. I mean, th these are just examples. These statements down here are just examples. Carbon dioxide consists of one atom of the element carbon and two atoms of the element oxygen, and you can see this is what we did. Its, a, it's chemical formula is written CO2, and I like to put a little one after my C because there is no subscript written there, and sometimes when I go to, to sketch the, uh, you know, on a quiz or something, when I am given a chemical formula and I need to sketch the a model of the molecule, it's easy to kind of forget that C there because there's no number. So it's okay to put a little one. Whenever you don't see a subscript written uh, by a chemical, to the right of a chemical, a chemical symbol, then it's understood to have a subscript of one. So can you write the chemical formula for the compound calcium carbonate? Okay, so I would like to show you what calcium carbonate would look like, there'd be one atom of calcium, and then there would be one atom, there would be an atom of carbon, and then there would be some oxygen. Okay, and these would be oxygen. Now, can you write the chemical formula for calcium carbonate? Pause the, pause the recording and see if you can write the chemical formula right below here with the proper subscripts. Okay, pause, try to write it, and then come on back and you can take a look at it. Okay, welcome back. So this is going to be written Ca for calcium, C for carbon, and then O3. Now, just so this is the chemical formula for calcium carbonate, and this is what the molecule would actually look like. This is what the molecule, the atoms that the molecule would have in it. So, the, since there's only one atom of calcium, I'm just going to put a little one right there. And since there's only one atom of carbon, I'm going to put a little one there so that every element has a subscript. You don't have to write them there. You would have to write the three there, or I wouldn't know that there are going to be three atoms in this molecule. Okay? And again, remember, anytime that you don't, let me just... Uh, Come back down. Anytime you don't see a chemical symbol or a, a subscript written with a chemical symbol, remember it's understood 
to have a, chemo, a, a subscript of one. And so this will help you to kind of keep track of how many atoms and which atoms are actually in a molecule when we're using chemical formulas to describe them. Okay, so if you haven't marked your reading and if you haven't gotten some of these sketches down so you can understand um, how chemical formulas describe the actual molecule and the atoms are in the molecule, then before you end this video, pause it. Make sure you get the, the, uh, the sketches down if you need to uh, you know, run it back uh, so that you have you know, water here. I erased water so I'd have space to put calcium carbonate in. Uh, do so and then I have some notes in the, in the last video. There's some notes I'm going to want to have you take down. So um, please make sure you have everything sketched here.